Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy IX. Uh, left, right where we left off in front of this dying Burmesian soldier. Uh, get the bell by the bed and go to the palace. Protect the king, please. Awesome. Well, he let us know where the bell is, so it's around here somewhere. We'll hunt it down. There's also, I believe, a lance in one of these rooms for Freya, which is nice. Um, and between episodes, I checked, uh, made sure everybody was upgraded with their best gear and working on new abilities and everything like that. And, uh, <clears throat> oh, sorry. Realized that um, Freya needed to use the Coral Ring because she now has Lancer. It comes to her from the Coral Ring. It's an ability that allows her to Reduce enemies HP and MP at the same time, which is awesome. So we'll go ahead and use that so you guys can see what that is. And uh, we are going to kill people. Oh, let's get rid of that. Because now they're trying to petrify everybody. And that doesn't affect Freya. We'll go ahead and let BB defend. So Don will attack the other one. Yeah, because that wasn't going to be enough. Petrify on Sedan. Kill that one. And Freya for the kill of the other one. There we go. And it's that combat. And finally, we got What's That? Comes from his uh, butterfly sword, so Zidane will be getting his ogre now. Which is awesome. This is this is what Final Fantasy IX is to me, is this whole equipment uh, play. Because now that he's done with that, we can upgrade him to the Soul Blade, or the Ogre, to get Soul Blade. And now he's even more powerful. So, and check under the bed. Protection Bell. Awesome. Alright. Oh, just back here, with an Aether in it. Awesome. Duh! Another battle. Some more of these dang basilisks. But Zidane's got his ogre now, which is sweet. The ogre is really cool. If you uh, guys remember in the synthesis what it requires to make an ogre, it is uh, two mage mashers. Now, the reason I talk about this is because the ogre actually looks like two mage mashers put together. So I, I find that really, really cool because of that. Um, and I guess the, the, the butterfly sword looks like two, uh, uh, two mithril daggers, even though it requires a mithril dagger and uh, a mage masher. But, uh, the ogre just looks amazing compared, uh, comparatively because of it. Not to say that it's the best looking of the thief swords, but it's one of the ones that makes the most sense. And I'm just gonna keep hitting him, even though BB is probably gonna kill him with Blizzard. Yeah. I think I drugged that battle out a longer than I needed to, but I was explaining things and not really focused on the battle too much. But anyways, to find this lance, or spear, whatever, <laughs> weapon for Freya. I've always called them lances, but they are more like spears than anything. Burmesians, which is terrible. Man, I really don't remember where that lance is. Uh, maybe it's on this guy. No? Ah! Oh. I hope this isn't going to be one of those episodes where it's little me running around looking for items and getting into battles all the time. Oh, and back attacks don't make it any better. Yeah. 
and slowed. Don't hit Zidane with it. Okay, you hit Freya. Ugh, change, 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 change. Now BB and Freya are both slowed. Man. Oh, Kuna is now <laughs> trancing. Kuna looks crazy tranced. I mean, it has this, like, epic look to her. It. Zidane is about to be purified, or petrified, not purified. And there's Zidane. Ooh, cook. Trans command, learn enemy skill. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can learn it. I think it's like an auto-eat. Oh, uh, not until weaker? Alright, so, uh, Freya... Oh, no! I forgot! If you use Cook, man, it just, it burns that trance up quick. Alright, we need to... Uh, this battle is falling apart. And I need to get back on the game. Do I... Oh, I was gonna say, did I not buy any? Alright, gotta get BB. Or not BB, this is it on. What's happening here? <laughs> Why is this happening? It's slowed, petrified, these things are just a nuisance. Alright, Zon's back. Kuna is gonna be petrified here shortly. If everybody becomes petrified, it's game over. So, we're gonna not let that happen. You know. Kill these things quick. Alright, GG. Ugh. Oh, man. That was getting... I was getting a little hairy there. Alright, we need to heal Zidane up and... Continue looking for this Lance. Well, might as well heal everybody. Oops, that was a waste. Yeah, there we go. See, I thought it was one of these statues, but I could be wrong. But I was in such a hurry to look for the, um, the bell. Or not the bell, but the a Moogle. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I think the Moogle is on the other side of that door that I passed in the last episode. Uh, through this door. So, that could be, uh, that could be the reason why, uh, I couldn't find the Moogle. I didn't want to progress any further. Let's go ahead and jump. Zidane attack. BB. Blizzard. Other basilisk. Squashed. Oh, might as well. Well, we'll just leave, leave Freya hanging there. It'll be alright. I love how these things give me a soft, sometimes, as a battle reward. Um... Oh, there's something here. Oh yeah, chest. Huh. Missed it that last time around. These guys? Nope. Alright, well, we're gonna move on. Maybe it's a little bit further ahead. I do remember there being a, uh, a lance for Freya here, but I could totally be wrong. Let you know I don't plan these episodes out or anything. Sit on. 
Promethea's royal palace is beyond these steps. It must be in ruins, just like everything else. I can't bear to see it like that. I understand, but we can't go back now. We have to find out who's behind this. I want to find out who those guys were, and why they look like me. Look, Vivi's scared too, but we have to face reality. Come on, Freya. It'll be okay. Vivi. Do you really know what you're doing? The answer you seek may forever change your life. Uh, for, for the worse. Um... Yeah, but... But I have to. I have to find out who I am. I'm scared. What if I'm not even human? Vivi. What are you talking about? I'm not human, but you're definitely human. Someone's coming. Who are you? Are you in league with the Black Mages? No! You're lying. There's a Black Mage right behind you. N no, I didn't do anything. I would never hurt anyone. Lies! He's telling the truth. Freya? It's good to see you, Dan. Damn, I haven't seen you in years. Where have you been? Actually, this isn't the best time to talk. We've got to get out of here fast. Those are, there are black mages swarming all over this place. What are you waiting for? Where is the king? I don't know. I didn't see him in the palace. Well, I'm going. I've got my own family to worry about. Freya, forget the king and get out of here. We're no match for those black mages. I'll protect my home and my king at any cost. Let's go to the palace. Man, everybody's running scared. But we're the heroes of this story, so we have to keep moving on. Um, door? <laughs> Sometimes the quickest path isn't necessarily the best path. Sometimes the longest path is a dead end. So, uh, let me check this real quick. Oh! Man, it won't even budge. Okay, so I guess I was trying to take the guy's uh, spear. Let's go ahead and check in here. Come on, dear. We have to go now. I can't move anymore. Go on without me. No, I can't do that. Remember that promise we made to each other in front of Master Gizamaluk? How could I forget? But my only wish now is for you and our child to survive. Please bear a healthy child, darling. Raise him to be strong. Oh, Cal. It's too dangerous to stay here. You have to escape to Lindblom. I'm sure Regent Sid will protect you. But my husband, he was hurt by those black mages. He can't move. How can we possibly escape to Limbalum? Look out! Ah, oh, quick thinking, Zidon. Whew, that was close. Jeez, thanks. Thank you. Wait, Cal, are you alright? Yeah, we survived, somehow. Can you give me a hand? Sure. Thanks again, pal. Maybe I'll see you again in Lindelum. By then my kid will be born. You definitely have to come see them. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Take care. No, we're not done in there. Not yet, anyways. 
or maybe we are. <laughs> okay, I guess we were. But I think that, uh, yeah, I knocked over that. Gets into a battle. Oh, more of these dang basilisks. Not with this petrification crap again. We're gonna hold on to BB's um, magic for a little bit. There is a boss battle coming up, and I really don't want to waste that. Find the lance and treasure. <laughs> Come on. Oh, mimic blast. Voice things, yep. Oh, and it's going after Kuna. <laughs> the Eater has become the ED. I think that's whatever. The E10? Oh, oh, you, you just. Good break. Deals physical damage to all enemies. Now you're in a world of hurt. Dang! <laughs> 15 and 1600 damage. That's the first time we've seen an attack break 1000 damage. There's Dragon Killer. Well. <laughs> oh. Oh! There's the Moogles. They're in one of these houses, I know it. Yes! Moogle! And it has a Mog Shop! <laughs> okay, Mognet first. Give Alta the letter. Thanks for delivering the letter from Moggy. Moggy. Thank you. Or Kupo. From Moggy to Alta. I hear that Stiltskin is headed uh, in your direction, Kupo. I've never met him. Tell me what he's like if you meet him, Kupo. Check and see if he travels with the map of the entire world and, and with rare items like the rumor says, Kupo. I've never met Stiltskin either. Either. Whatever. Kupo. I'll give you this in exchange for delivery. Kupo nut! I have a favor to ask, Kupo. Deliver a letter to Monev. Okay. Thanks, Kupo. Alright, Mog Shop. And needle fork. Oh man. But a mithril glove. Headgear, Magus hat. Now, the reason that those two, I mean, I have an extra Magus hat on me, but their strength will go down one point, and it only ra uh, raises their magical defense. So, in my opinion, there's not really much of a uh, reason to upgrade, the ma uh, upgrade them to the Magus hat. Uh, so, unless you wanted to make Kuna like a, a magic defense kind of person, but uh, a Marbut for Freya, bronze vest for them too. Oh, don't need eleven of them. And that's it. I was really, really hoping we would get a lance. That really, really blows. Uh, wait. The lightning staff! Yes! And look, it's Stiltskin. Well, look who we have here. 
Hey, buddy. Do you want to buy something? Yes. Oh, here's what I've got. Soft, high potion, ether. Do you want to buy them? Okay. That's actually a pretty decent deal. <laughs> Thanks. It'll keep me going for a week or so. I can't stand all this rain. Well, alright. Let's do some equipping real quick. So, is it on? Upgrade to bronze vest that gives him jelly. Keeps him from being petrified. Um, and... Vivi did, oh, Vivi did get the lightning staff, so he gets thunder and poison. And Omega's hat still is the most powerful thing. We didn't get a better armlet. Bronze vest will get him jelly, but he'll lose a lot of defense. So he'll lose some defense, magic defense. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's, it's a hard choice. Well, nothing new learned there, but a little bit new learned there. And bronze vest. Let's see, that's what I was talking about. Losing strength for one defense, magic defense. In my opinion's not really that great of a deal, because since Kuna is a pretty decent uh, straight fighter. So, but uh, let's do some equips here. Oops, 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 oops. Go ahead, get that jelly. And I bet. Yeah, not gonna be able to use it. He's only got three. But we can give him. So, man eater, add stats, flea gill. Yeah, we'll go ahead and go with add stat for now. I know I did this earlier, but there are some things that I missed. Um, bright eyes. Alright, so, best we can do for now, yet again, no lance. Maybe it's in here. Oh, there it is. Found it, finally. Is this, is there anything here we can use? The spear. Pretty light and easy to use. Mithril spear. Alright, let's go beat up some black mages. Come on, you know I don't mean don't mean you. I know. But never mind. BB. Alright, I think that was all that was in here, so back to the inventory real quick. Oh, and I missed Kuna. Er. <laughs> uh, Raya, there's Mithril Spear. Get Reese's Wind. Another, uh, another sh attack for Freya, and that should call it good. Now there was a. I could have swore I saw like an icon pop up when I ran through there, but in my search, managed to get into a dang battle. Oh yeah, more of these dudes. All right, we gotta kill one and shut another one down. Um, let's try to eat that one. All right, that one's down. A magic hammer. Uh, I'm gonna try to eat again. Don's gonna defend. We're gonna move BB up to the front row. And have him do physical attacks, which I know sounds ridiculous, but it's the uh, it's the best way to weaken them so we can try to eat them. So we're just going to keep on the defensive. Keep the eating going. I know it's not going to work, but it keeps me in the routine of it. Defend. Attack! Little black mage. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Oh no. 
Come on, eat. 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 Yes! Got it. <laughs> Alright, I didn't have to do any editing for that. And that's like, to me, that's the best way of doing it, is uh, like hitting it once with a strong character that you know is not going to like knock it out right away, and then using one of your characters who doesn't hit all that much, like hit for all that much, move them into like the front row so they'll hit a little bit harder, but still not enough to knock them out, so. Jeez, this is terrible. Freya, I'm sorry, but from the looks of this, I don't think the king made it. We're gonna talk to her. We're not gonna be the ass. I don't know what to tell you. It's not talking to her, Zidane. <laughs> we can only hope that the king and the others escaped. Alright, we're just gonna leave her be for now. Bibi, let's go see what's over there. Freya! There's someone inside the palace. What are you waiting for? Get up here! You make it sound so easy. Well, I guess I'll start here. I'm on. Um, okay. Oh, man. I'm gonna go ahead. Try to find a way up. I'll meet you at the top. I meet you after I eat food inside Ballas. Well, <laughs> that didn't end very well. Who is that? I knew she was behind all of this. What do you mean, you knew? I decided to return to Berisia because I'd heard rumors that Braun had set her sights on our kingdom. Then that girl standing next to her must be Beatrix, Alexandria's general. That's Beatrix? Cold-blooded knight who knows no mercy? Beatrix. Beatrix. Yes, Beatrix. I heard that, uh, I heard there are many fierce warriors out in the world, some more powerful evil, even than, yeah, more powerful than even I. Beatrix of Alexandria in particular. They say her swordsmanship is the best in the land. Sir Fredley, do you still insist on going on your journey? Yes. Please understand, Freya. Right now, Bermesia is at peace, while other nations are slowly but surely gaining power. I don't know if my spear alone is enough to protect the Bermesia, which is precisely why I must go into the world. Sir Fredley, I don't think I can live on my own, not without you. You're going to be fine. Trust your strength, and you'll ha and have faith in your destiny. Once I complete my journey around the world, I will return to Bermesia. Then promise me, one more time, that you will return. I promise. Fredily. You never came back. You've left me with nothing except rumors of your death. I couldn't believe it. I still won't believe it. Never. Not until I witness proof of your death with my own eyes. And I will travel across the world forever if I must. Are you alright? Yes. I was just thinking about the past. You still... You still can't get over him, huh? 
Who's that? Another random person? I find this rain quite pleasant. It feels as though the raindrops are blessing our victory. This is a great victory for us, Kuja. Your black mages has uh, made this conquest so simple. Our only concern now is finding the king of Vermesia. We must take him for uh, take care of him once and for all, and prevent these rats from rising up again. Beatrix, what's taking so long? I don't know, Your Majesty. I have ordered Zorn and Thorn to search the perimeter, but there's been no word so far. I will join them and lead the search right away. You're wasting your time. What? Rats often look for new homes when they sense an earthquake. They probably moved to the sandy treehouse by, uh, by now. So, you see, it's too late. The king has already turned tail and fled. Sandy treehouse? Surely you can't mean Clara. Clara. It'll be quite difficult if they escape to Clara. Clara? Unless we get through that storm, it'll be impossible to attack them. Sneaky little rats. Kuja, what do you think? Surely with your powers, there must be something you can do. Of course, Your Majesty. I will present you with a marvelous display of my power. I am certain that you will be most pleased. I'm wondering if you would gather your troops near Clara. I'm certain those filthy rats will retaliate in full force, and my black mages may not be enough. Sounds like we got trouble. That sinister man. Who is he? Beats me. I've never seen him before. Well, it sounds like we're, they're going to Clara. We've got a... Uh, I've always wondered why people call it the City of Illusion. I don't know either. Clara was manned in isolation for a hundred years. If my people escaped there. They'll be safe, at least for a while. What's this place like? The people of Clara are originally from Bermesia. Long ago, they severed ties with Bermesia over a trivial, trivial conflict. Now the kingdom is at peace, shielded by a large sandstorm. Who's... who's... look, there's someone else coming. What is he thinking? I will never fall. Prepare to die. You wish to fight me? Beatrix of Alexandria? But Beatrix... I commend your courage, but I will show you no mercy. Hold it. You'll have to deal with us first. We'll take care of this. Go find the king, protect him with your life. Thank you, Freya. Haha, <laughs> I've never been so humiliated in my life. I once killed a hundred knights single-handedly. To me, you two are nothing more than insects. Now, this is one of those battles. Those battles you just can't win. Um, you can't just sit there and, like, take it, though. You have to put up an effort and fight, but... It's similar to the fight you have with Steinert, where he uses an ability and busts up Blank's armor. Um, so you have to basically goad her into using one of her more powerful attacks, if I remember correctly. But we're also going to be doing the whole Steely thing, so... Uh, or maybe not. Alright, um... Focus. Luna. Maybe it is just straight up lose. I don't remember. 
Yeah. Maybe that is how it's gonna work. The high potion still went off though. Thunder! Uh... Oh, we got a Phoenix down, really? And a miss. Oh, Kuna! Dang! Come on, Zidane. Jeez. Cast regen on all party members. <laughs> I forgot what Reese's wind wit was, so this is a little helpful. Haha, <laughs> BB is too powerful for you. Chain plate. Magic Hammer. Trying to eat up some of her magic so she can't hit us too much. Uh oh. Alright, Thunder. <laughs> Shock again. I don't know. I don't know if Shock has a uh, his MP tied to it. Holy crap! That was seven hundred fifty-four. Last Phoenix or last high potion on Freya. You're no match for me. Stock break. Yeah, there it was. Ignorant fools. Well, we did manage to get the chain plate, so... How ridiculously weak. Isn't there anyone who is worthy of facing me? Come, Beatrix. We must prepare to attack Clara. Yes, Your Majesty. Now, what do we have here? Another filthy rat. And... Hmm. This boy could be a problem. Could become a problem. Scene. This one's pretty cool. Where we get a pretty decent look at Kuja for the first time, aside from his just sprite or character model, whatever you want to call it. And it really kind of accentuates how amazing uh, Burmesia looks uh, with all of its rain and everything. Kuja still freaks me out, though. one of those like male feminine like characters that uh, typically end up being in like JRPGs and, and anime and things like that and not to mention he rides a freaking dragon
but it's just one of those things that we have to deal with. Well, it's giving us the option to save the game. So I think that's where I'm going to end today's episode, guys, and we'll pick up right after this save. Hopefully, uh, there won't be like a cutscene or anything. I'm just going to save and uh, get all uh, this recording and stuff saved as well. But um, if you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. You know, I say this stuff all the time, but uh, it really does mean a lot uh, from, from, eh, for me to have you guys watch this stuff. Uh, and it, it means a lot more when you let other people know about it. Uh, because I do. I want this channel to grow. I want us to grow as a community. Um, because uh, it's just something I've always kind of had a, a goal uh, to strive for is to uh, do something that is considered my own. Uh, I know there are people out there that have had jobs that um, uh, where they work for other people, but anyways, I'm going off on this really weird tangent, and I don't want to do that. But uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.